Hey guys, what is going on? I got another unboxing for you, courtesy of the good guys over at Newegg.com. Uh, if you can hear some uh, voices in the background, I'm currently on Skype right now, and uh, yeah, that's when Mr. Postman decides to knock on my door and give me this package. So, uh, as you guys know, I love Newegg.com. I love everything about them. They are great for PC geeks, but not just for guys who are wanting to upgrade their PC with newer parts. It's also a great site for... If you're just generally a guy who loves anything technology, video games, movies, entertainment, I mean, they got it all for you, and they really do care about their uh, customers, so every once in a while they'll offer, uh, if you're subscribed to the newsletter, they'll offer you some coupons and some special savers, exclusive deals, and uh, I usually take advantage of them. That's how I get PC parts for cheap. That's how I get uh, certain video games for cheap. So um, I saw this going on sale for around $15, and... Uh, this is a video game that I played straight when it came out, and this is back in the days when I, uh, uh, I believe this is before I technically, I technically speaking, uh, started up my Xbox Live membership, so this was on a completely different account back then, but I didn't care much, I wanted to play the game since I was such a big fan of the series. Uh, so the years have gone by, and I've played other games of the series, but, you know, while I really did enjoy them and they are fantastic games, there was just something about this one that stuck with me that I just can't let go of that I just really need to play now after finishing a second playthrough of another game in said series. But enough of me rambling on. You want to know what game is in here, right? So let us open it. Joining me today, I got Mr. Scissors. So let's do this. Okay, got that out. Whoa. Get off me. And just take this. And all right, okay, nothing really special here. We have got for a grand total of fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents, Tales of Vesperia. Yes, my friends, this was the game I was talking about. I played this back when it came out, and I remember absolutely adoring and loving it. It's one of my more favorite games in the Tale series, and uh, yeah, one of the main reasons why I was holding out on uh, repurchasing it. Uh, mainly was due to the fact that I thought that they would bring over the uh, PlayStation 3 version of Tales of Vesperia. If you didn't know, they released, um, because this originally came out as an Xbox exclusive, they released the PlayStation 3 version in Japan that came with loads of extras. Literally, it is a completely different game with the amount of content that is in there. And I was holding out for them because uh, there were talks. Troy Baker, who you know is one of the main voice actors in Vesperia, said that they were working on new content for the game, so I don't know what's going on. Namco Bandai, please tell us if it's coming or not. There are talks that it's more of a licensing issue with Microsoft than anything else. That's why they couldn't bring it to the States. I don't know, but it looks like we are never going to get it since we are getting Zillia uh, next year, and if we get good sales for Zillia, then they are going to bring over Zillia too, so I don't think there's really a reason for them to bring over Vesperia PS3, so... Eh, I can live with it for a while, I guess. I'm not really a, imp I'm not much of an importing guy as I used to be, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, bother importing it from Japan. Kind of sucks that we're not getting it, but hey, whatever. I mean, we got Eternal Sonata for the PS3, and that came with a shit ton more content, so, yeah, and you also got Star Ocean for the PS3, so why not Vesperia, man? Why not Vesperia? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be turning off that video right now, Vesperia. What are you doing about that? What you doing about that? You jealous because I said I wanted the PSG version? Well, you're still good, too. You're... Man, you don't think of yourself as the red-headed cousin. You're not the red-headed cousin. Come on, now. You're a brunette, I think. <laughs> I'm really rambling on, aren't I? So, uh... Oh, fuck. This is what I hate about the damn Xbox cases. They put these freaking friggin' fragged stickers. Maggot. Okay without damaging the box art and without tipping this son of a bitch over. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Yo, so speaking of which, um, yeah, Final Fantasy Versus 13 apparently is not cancelled. I don't see why people are shocked that it isn't, because I told you guys it was a rumor, uh, so keep your expectations for this, keep them at a minimum, because you never know what could happen. And I know people are saying, well, it's square, so there's more of a reason. Yes, that is true, but then again, always go with this with a grain of salt. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm not really too ecstatic that it's still in development, because, like I said, we they never announced it was fully cancelled. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how that does at the Tokyo Game Show. Hopefully later this year. So, yeah, it's looking all sexy. Open it up. 
really nice game disc. And let's see if the manual is color. Oh no, black and white, even back in 2008, unless this is like a second, third, fourth printing, which they swapped out. But it's a pretty beefy manual nonetheless. Uh, slightly eco case. So yeah, you guys, another game added to the ever-growing library. I want to thank you for watching this video. Post down below in the comment section what is your favorite Tales game, and it can be Japanese. It doesn't have to be stuck. You don't have to stick to North America. And I'm NGS signing out. Catch you guys later. Peace.